A netop or miniature PC, mini PC or smart micro PC is a small-sized, inexpensive, low-power, legacy-free desktop computer designed for basic tasks such as internet surfing, accessing web-based applications, document processing, and audio-video playback. The word netop is a portmanteau of internet and desktop. It is the desktop counterpart of the netbook. Compared to ordinary desktop computers, netops are not only smaller and cheaper, but they also consume much less power. For example, Compulab's Fit PC2 consumes no more than 8 watts of power whereas a typical desktop would easily consume more than 100 watts of power. Consequently, netops require significantly less cooling and may even be completely fanless. Some do not have an optical disk drive and use a solid-state drive, making them completely silent. The trade-off is that the hardware specifications and processing power are usually reduced and hence make netops less appropriate for running complex or resource-intensive applications. Topic. History Netops and mini-PCs have what could be considered an unusual history. The first wave of such devices, which occurred in the mid to late 2000s, were commonly referred to as netops. These included devices such as the Acer Aspire Revo seen above, and were commonly considered to be a kind of temporary substitute PC of a lower cost for users needing a second PC or for use in developing countries. Another commonly held view at the time was their use as a stepping stone towards a thin client based always online computer that would replace inefficient PCs. Topic development of netbooks and the cannibalization of laptop sales As demand for these devices quickly waned, the industry responded by addressing the chief complaint that these devices would be better as portable devices such as a new form of laptop. The result was the netbook, a device which was considered the true future of the netop. However, prevailing attitudes and economic issues in 2008 onward made these popular due to their low cost and portability along with the then-expanding feature set. In August 2009, reports from reviewers were that a netbook of the time and a traditional laptop of the same price were otherwise identical. The implications that the price of standard notebooks should be dropped was a financial liability, due to huge unsold inventories of standard laptops in retail chains and an unfavorable market in which to unload them meant that cannibalization of laptop sales by netbooks would be financially undesirable for the industry. A clearance sale was also not an option under these conditions, especially among multiple retail chains and online shopping sites. These factors, along with a desire to keep netbook sales going to recoup R&D, design and manufacturing costs, were all likely contributing factors of an industry-wide effort to sabotage netbooks through purposefully limited devices that could be sold cheaply while acting as a form of social engineering towards discrediting netbook devices. The direct lineage between netops and netbooks meant that the concept of a net prefix was considered a failed idea. Devices such as Chromebooks, tablet PCs, Ultrabooks and other devices responded by branding themselves as a different type of device such as Chrome OS being exclusively a pure web client or the proposal that the Ultrabook succeeded by compensating for its lighter weight and otherwise equal performance parts with a higher price tag. In 2015, a revival of the concept came about from a likely unrelated source, a technological form of convergent evolution. Via the likely observed success of the stick PC, the idea of combining a system on a chip with a single board computer has led to a continuation of the NetOps original product goals. Mini PCs such as the Minix Z83 IV or the Azul Access Plus are exclusively referred to as mini PCs, despite being identical or near identical on paper to the NetOp architecture. Topic. Hardware There are three platforms that are primarily intended for netops and netbooks. Intel's Centrino Atom platform. NVIDIA's Ion platform. VIA's Trinity platform. Some netops have also adopted system-on-a-chip designs. 
although many major parts such as chipsets, video cards and storage devices can also be found on desktops, the CPUs that are put inside NetOps are the fundamental component that differentiate them from normal desktops. The list below contains a range of hardware components that a typical NetOp may be assembled from. CPU Intel Atom, Core i3 x86 Via Nano and Via C7 processors x86 AMD Fusion x86 AMD Geode x86 ARM Cortex based CPU ARM Longson MIPS GPU Intel GMA950 S3 Graphics Chrome GeForce 9400MG integrated into MCP79MX, NVIDIA ION platform AMD Radeon HD 6310 ATI HD 4530 PowerVR Chipset 945GSE and 945GC Express chipsets MCP79MX integrated GeForce 9400MG GPU NVIDIA ION platform Via VX800 IGP chipset RAM typically 512 megabytes to 2 gigabytes SDRAM DDR or DDR2 memory storage devices at least 1 gigabyte flash memory 2.5 hard disk drive or solid state drive SSD network ethernet and or wi-fi io ports lan usb 2.0 video out audio out intel's atom processor has been adopted by several hardware manufacturers such as asus msi and sony for netops NVIDIA has also released its first-generation ION platform, which puts GeForce 9400M motherboard GPU alongside the Atom processor to provide better high-definition video playback ability and lower power consumption. In addition, NVIDIA has announced that it will support VIA's CPUs this year. To further reduce the manufacturing cost and improve power efficiency, many manufacturers and startup companies have chosen to use CPUs that were originally targeted at embedded computing devices such as AMD's Geode and ARM Cortex-based CPUs. Topic. Operating systems Many net top models are x86 processor based and as such are capable of running standard PC OSs. There are also operating systems designed specifically for netops and other machines in the same performance class. Some high-end netops are capable of running Windows 10. Google's Android Linux distribution is another option. Although Google's Android was originally designed for smartphones, it has also taken a seat in the netop market. Another Linux system is Ubuntu. Topic. Market NetOps fell into Intel's category of basic PC, which usually cost from $100 to $299. Intel described NetOps as a large potential market at that time. NetOps were said to be able to serve as an affordable first computer for people in developing countries, or as an environmentally friendly choice as a secondary computer for people in developed countries. However, as stated above, the primary flaw to the average consumer was that it was far more useful as a portable system. This led then to the development of netbooks. When in the midst of an economic crisis netbooks were seen to be hurting sales of traditional laptops there was likely a collaborative effort to destroy demand for them. Hence the original source of this computer class died off in the marketplace. As a result of successes with stick PCs and Linux Mint-based NetOp-like computers, as well as continued success of the Mac Mini, the idea was possibly unintentionally revived as Mini PCs, which continue to be sold through online retailers as of August, 2017. Topic. See also Apple TV AMD Fusion Chromebox Cloud computing 
Comparison of single board computers Mac Mini Mini PC Netbook PC on a stick Plug computer Tablet computer Thin client